Another day, another Norvina palette. Today we're going to be talking about the ABS Norvina Volume 4, 5, and 6. Just kidding. We're still at number 3. Um, and I spoke to you guys about Norvina Volume 2 uh, last week. And so if you're new to my channel, make sure to uh, subscribe if you want to be entered into my monthly giveaways. This month I'm giving away the ABH Norvina Volume 1. So as long as you're subscribed and you've left me a way to contact you, you should be already automatically entered. All right, so moving on to the ABH Norvina Volume 3. Uh, compared to the Volume 2, which was all bright neons and and uh, a rainbow palette. This is also a very colorful palette. It's launching on September 26th also. And the theme on the, the case looks like butterflies, which Norvina said she was inspired for fall colors. Uh, they, they have like, um, you know, they want to fo you to focus on orangey tones here, but it's still another colorful palette. And so she, she posted a lot of uh, you know butterflies for this look because that's that was her inspiration and uh, and I guess uh, you know that's that's the, the inspiration behind the palette. Okay so moving on you see this palette is orange and uh, uh, compared to the other rainbow palettes side by side this one doesn't seem as neon as the other one did and uh, you can see that the uh, they focus more on uh, corally red colors compared to the volume two and volume two was only announced last week also so we're getting both of these at the same time and you're getting a mix of colors volume two had blue casing and the, you know they wanted you to focus on those uh, blue colors that uh, were randomly spread out. and here they have want you to focus on orange corally colors um, and and you have less neony bright colors as much you know that would be a good use for summer. I've rearranged these palette shades uh, and uh, put them in an order so it's easier to look at. When you compare them side by side, you'll notice that Volume Two really does have more blues in general, but it's not a blue palette, and Volume Three has more reds in general. So that might be a reason for the the case of the packaging to me volume 3 speaks to me the most because it's got more day-to-day -day shades compared to volume 1 volume 2 has more uh, bright very bright rainbow color shades so if you're really into that you know bright rainbow color fix that you ha may have not already gotten through other makeup that has been released this year including uh, a ton of rainbow palettes that I've reviewed for you guys in the past. Um, I think volume 3 personally is a better choice but but we've seen these colors over and over before so maybe you know maybe you might not have that lime green or that green um, shade silver shade there but uh, the swatches look very true to the pan and pretty consistent around various skin tones so if you're looking for a fall color palette and you already don't own anything within this color range it's uh, really a question to ask uh, as far as what look you're really trying to achieve not just to own all the colors uh, to just have all the colors because companies will give you a dupes here when you compare to volume 2 and volume 3 you'll notice that volume 3 has definitely has more pink coral tones but it still has those lime greens so if you're buying volume 2 for lime greens specifically uh, unless you want the full range then volume 3 might still be a good deal because you still get a couple greens in there and you, you get your burgundies but if you already own the sunset or sunrise palette by Natasha Denona or the blood sugar palette by Jeffree Star or maybe you own the Too Faced gingerbread palette that came out last year and we released this year they already seem to be colors that are repeating uh, multiple times over so I don't really understand the connection to butterflies here other than it's colorful but unless you want a you know a bright neon look 
that you'd go for the volume 2 for, then maybe the volume 3 could be something to consider. So here you see the for fall colors, you know, if you're trying to achieve a fall color look, you can, uh, you know, mix maybe oranges and greens. I like that it has an orange in there. You can, you know, definitely get, you know, probably use it for Halloween. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can mix it up. But here she's just used the, the light red shimmer on top of the, the red. And as I've said before, these the companies are just, you know, moving these shades around. And, uh, you know, I, there's a reason why the palette looks very confusing to begin with. And it's, you know, so you really, at first glance, think you've never seen this before. So, so back to what, which one you should choose. Uh, again, it really depends on what look you're trying to achieve. If you already own any rainbow palettes, I don't, I personally would not go and buy the volume two. Uh, volume three, it really depends on particular shades. If you're really interested in um, having a palette that has all these colors in it at the same time, then maybe. But uh, if you've been noticing, and they have been releasing a number of palettes this year and Rovina volume one already uh, came out it already came out you had the Riviera palette that was released this year they, they released multiple eyeshadow palettes this year the Riviera palette the Jackie Ina palette that was already released this year for 45 I believe the Elisa Edwards palette that was released a couple months ago then um, the, the ABH Norvina Volume 1. So so really, it, if you've been buying all these palettes, you know, you would have been spending a lot this year already and, and they haven't been updating any uh, bronzers or eye, eyebrow products. Uh, I guess palettes are exciting and are a good selling point for the companies. So uh, just be careful not to fall into that trap of just buying another palette to just have another palette. And... Um, yeah, that's that's my thoughts, and uh, and I hope you liked this video. And if you did, uh, you know, let me know your comments in the section below. And uh, you know, if you're interested in entering in a giveaway, make sure you're subscribed. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.